be imagining this, but oh, actually, I got a bite right now. I got a bite right now. Hang on, guys. Hang on, guys. It's another episode of Average Guys Outdoor. Is it Average Guys Outdoor or Average Guys Outdoors? I think it's Average Guy Outdoors, but anyways, so we're at the grocery store right now. Um, today I'm going to be going fishing, so found a cool spot that's right behind this Randall's. I have no idea if we're going to catch anything, but we're going to give it a shot. And the next clip I should be grabbing our bait. So let's try it guys. So we're in the grocery store. Got to go around, got to find the bread. It's going to be our bait for the day. So I'll follow back up with you whenever I find it. All right, we're almost at the bait. Uh, here we go. That's what we're going to be using today. Hopefully we'll catch some catfish. All right, got the bait guys. So this fishing spot's actually right behind the grocery store. It's kind of a funny spot, but there's a couple reasons why I think that there might be some fish in there. I might be totally wrong about this, but the middle part seems like it's really deep, so it may be able to hold some bigger fish, um, which is good, especially because of how hot it is right now. So I feel like maybe if I cast right in the middle with some bread or something in that deep area, the fish probably be hanging out down there because it's so hot. Maybe they're trying to cool off. Um, but we're gonna give it a try. I've got some lures with me too, so if the bread don't work out, then I can just throw some lures on there and maybe try to catch some bass. So we'll see how it goes. All right, got the rod out of the car, got the bait. I got my little bait bag. So we're heading over to the spot right now. And it's literally like right here. So this is the Walgreens, or actually the, uh, the Randalls that we bought the bait from. And then I'm gonna turn the camera around. Right back here is that body of water I was telling you about. So it's really all it is, just a little runoff. But there's a, a deep spot. Oh, and I forgot too, there's a, I'll show you whenever I get down there, but there's a little bit of a spillway. So I feel like there's some good oxygen in the water. Water's flowing real good. So I feel like there's gonna be some fish down there. All right. So this is a little spot guys. We're about to find out if it works. There's that little runoff I was telling you about right there. I feel like it's gonna be oxygenating the water. Oh, it looks like we've got some other people fishing here too. That's alright, we'll try down here. Alright guys, so I don't know about you, but every time I use bread, I always take off the crust, because it seems like the crust always falls off real easy when you cast it out there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab some of this stuff out of the middle here. Kind of dough it up, ball it up. And then this hook that I'm using, it's just a bass hook. This is literally just what was on there from when I pulled it out of the garage. I don't think I have a knife on me, so I'm just going to use this until I break off or something. So. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on there kind of like that and just knead the hook on there. Make the bread a little hard, just like that. All right guys, line is in the water. Now we just gotta sit and wait, see what happens. I did see some action down that way just a minute ago, so I'm gonna try it here for a little bit, but if I don't catch anything or get any bites, I'm gonna go down there. Saw something flopping around on the top of the water, so. We'll have to go check that out here in a minute. All right, guys, I did just get a pretty good bite, and it looks like my line may or may not be running. So I'm going to reel the line in a little bit tighter, see if there's something still on there. And then uh, maybe hopefully there is, but if not, I can just retie again, put some more bait on there. Okay. Looks like the bait's still on there. I had a good little bite, but it just kind of came off real quick. So I'm going to cast back out again and give it a try. All right guys, so something stole my bait. I'm gonna re-bait this hook, cast it out there again. I did get one bite. I did get one bite just a minute ago, so I'm gonna give it a little bit longer and see if I can get something else. But if not, I'm gonna go try that spot down there. So I'll let you know how it goes. You guys can see, but there's a big snake right there. Don't really know what kind of snake it is, but it's probably four or five foot long. Let's get back a little bit. There it is. The sun is brutal, so I cannot even tell if you guys can see that or not, but it is a big one. All right, guys, so I have caught nothing so far. Those two dudes that were under this bridge a minute ago, um, I saw them catch a bass, probably about a pound or so. Um, so I, uh, I switched over to a lure, so now I'm using this, uh, I want to say it's a five inch. Kind of a chartreuse tip on the end there, and then maybe like a watermelon seed color. I have to look at the bag of lures and see what they actually are, but it um, works pretty good. And uh, it actually worked out that I had that bass hook on there because I just left the same hook on and, and now I'm using it for the worm. So this is the spot that I'm fishing now. It's a little bit more shaded. Fish might be down in here cooling off a little bit. So I'm gonna make a few casts and uh, see how it goes. I still have some bread left, so 
uh, just in case I don't catch anything on the, uh, the lures, I can just switch back over to bread, but I don't know. Oh, I did see a couple of small gar too, maybe about two, three foot long. Saw two of them. So it's good to know for next time if I come back, I can try to maybe try to catch a gar. So we'll see. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys. So I noticed that the worm that I was using wasn't heavy enough. So I went ahead and switched over to this. Um, I believe this is called a jig. Um, it has a little weight on the front of it and then has these little hangers. Kind of looks like a spinner bait. And then I have this uh, chartreuse worm on the back of it. Um, this has been sitting in the bottom of my tackle box for a while and I was using it. I don't remember where I was using it. I think it might have been uh, sometime in 2017. But anyway, so this is what I'm going to use and I'm going to take the time to show you how to tie a clinch knot. So this isn't the best way to do it. I'm not saying it is. It's just the way that I've done it for years. Um, and uh, if you have a better way of doing it, maybe you could show me in the comment section below. Uh, but basically what you do is you just make a little loop like that. You put your finger right here right on the inside of the line, butt it up against the lure. And then you keep the tension on there and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I always have done it seven times. Some people do it more, some people do it less. And then you grab that line right there and pull it. So you're gonna get like a bunch of braid in the line right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that looks like a big mess. And then what you do is you just pull it tight, put a little bit of spit on there, a little bit of water, and then just pull it tight. And then you have that little clinch right on the end of the knot there. And that's that's a really strong knot. It's pretty versatile. You can use it on a lot of different applications. Um, so yeah, that's how you do a clinch knot, my version. I still have a cotton in the right? Cotton? Is that even a word? <laughs> but anyways, uh, still haven't caught anything yet. Um, you guys can correct me on this if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure a mullet is a saltwater fish. And I'm almost positive I just saw one jump out of the water. So I'm going to guess that this has some salt water in there. Um, I don't know, but you guys can probably tell me in the comments below if that is true or if I'm right about my assumption. Um, but uh, that's interesting. I, it just kind of surprises me that there would be salt water this far off the coast. We are in uh, Clear Lake right now, so I guess we're not really too far. Um, but, I mean, just wouldn't really expect the salt water in this little creek, if you know what I mean. But anyways, so that's all I really got. One other thing I wanted to mention too, is uh, it has rained a whole lot. So the water clarity is really bad right now. So that may have something to do with it also. I've noticed it seems like fishing these small bodies of water, uh, you know, when the water clarity gets off after a heavy rain or something, it's harder to harder to find the fish and maybe it's harder for them to see the lure or something, I don't know. Uh, but if you can see, it's kind of chocolate milky. It's not real pretty right now. Um, but I have gotten a bite, got a bite right at the beginning, saw a couple fish. Um, so I'm going to give it a few more tries and then I may go to another spot just so that way we can get something at least caught on this video. Um, so I will check back with you here in a minute. All right, I caught a little bass, guys. Almost, anyways. There we go. And it's a little bass. Very cool. All right, cool. Caught a little fish. So I'm going to go ahead and release them, and I'm not going to fall in. It's very slippery. So, oh. There he goes. See you later, buddy. So it was pretty cool that we caught a fish. It's a little bit small, but that's okay. Um, try to catch another one. That was pretty fun. He had the hook in him pretty good. I was I, what I really need to do is I need to get a tripod and then maybe like a GoPro or something that I can mount right here. So that way, whenever I'm actually catching and reeling in the fish, you guys can see it. If I keep doing this, that is, I I've been having fun making this video. So maybe I'll make some more. But um, I think that'd make it a lot better. That way, you guys can actually see catching the fish and everything, and I can get a better better little clip of it but um yeah caught one so that's exciting let's try to catch one we'll make a couple more casts in this spot right here i thought i might have gotten a bite earlier but i'm
guys, I decided I'm gonna call it quits at that spot. I'm not sure where exactly I'm gonna go next. I have a couple of ideas, but I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with yet. So I will check back with you once I get there. All right, guys, pulled up spot number two. Um, just seeing the water right now. It looks kind of murky like the other spot, but a little bit deeper, a little bit more water. Maybe we'll catch something. Um, I know for sure I have seen some really big gar here before. Sorry, the lighting's probably bad. Turn this way. I have seen some pretty big gar here before. Um, didn't really come prepared to catch a gar, but I do have some steel uh, braided lines, so maybe I could use that. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys. I wasn't feeling too hot about that place, so we're going to go to another spot. And hopefully we have some better luck there. But uh, I did see a couple of fish, but I just don't think we have the right the right setup for, for catching them because I saw some gar and I feel like if I had some steel leaders, which I do, but if I had steel leaders, maybe a, a treble hook and then some live bait or something, maybe even a uh, popping cork, throw it on the top. I bet you we'd be able to get one of them if we stayed a little bit long, but the thing is with fishing for gar, I don't know if you guys have ever tried it before, but it seems like for me it's so hard to get a hook set on them. You almost have to let the gar swallow the whole hook in order to catch it. And I just, I don't know, I feel like if I let something, if I let it swallow the hook, I'm going to have to keep it. And I don't always feel like keeping fish, so maybe gar fishing isn't really my style. But we're going to go to another spot and see how it goes, and I will talk to you when we get there. All right, guys, I got to the third spot. And it looks pretty good. There's, there's a couple people that are fishing here already, but that's okay. But uh, I'm going to probably go with some bread. I'm willing to bet there's some carp in here, but we'll have to wait and see. But I will talk to you when I get down there. All right guys, so probably gonna call it quits here soon. I'm at the last spot. It's actually kind of nice, um, but haven't gotten any bites yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fish in here though, but I uh, might have to call this video the reality of fishing just because this is the reality of fishing. Sometimes you go out and you don't really catch a whole lot, you know, but uh, I wasn't really super prepared for this video, but um, at least we got that one fish in the beginning, so that's pretty cool. Um, but I think that this is probably what I'm going to end up making this channel about is just fishing and hunting and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully I'll make another video soon. Um, if you liked it, let me know. If there was something I could do to make the video better, let me know. Um, and I think I actually have a GoPro from like four or five years ago. So it's not like a super new GoPro. But I feel like at least I could get a better angle of fishing and I could have it maybe mounted on my head or something. So I could get a video of me actually reeling the fish in, which would be pretty cool. Um, I might be imagining this, but oh, actually, I got a bite right now. I got a bite right now. Hang on, guys. Got another bite, man. So I changed up my strategy a little bit because they did take my bait this time again. So uh, what I did is I didn't, I didn't quite need the bread as much. I left it kind of soft um, in hopes that if I, if I do get another bite, I can just set the hook real quick and it won't be so. Um, it won't be so hard. The hook will just kind of go through the bread, if that makes sense. So um, that's what I tried. I'm going to give it a shot. The only thing that sucks about doing it that way is if the bread is kind of loose, you cast it out, and sometimes it doesn't sink all the way down to the bottom. Um, so hopefully it did. I, I felt like it did when I casted it out. I let it sit there for a second. It looked like it went all the way down. So um, hopefully we get one on this next one. But uh, yeah, I definitely had another bite, so we'll see how it goes. All right, goes. guys, exactly what I was worried about. I caught a little turtle. Um, it looks like it might be a soft shell turtle. I'm going to flip it over and show it to you guys real quick. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section below. Um, thankfully, his hook isn't too far in his mouth. Um, so I'll be able to release him without causing any harm to him, really. So I'm going to, yeah, it's definitely a soft shell turtle. I'm going to show it to you. It's definitely a soft shell turtle. You can see how his, his shell's bending like that. Um, but there's the hook right in the bottom of his mouth there. So I'm going to grab my pliers real quick and I want to make sure he doesn't swallow the hook. It's positive. This is a soft shell turtle. Um, you guys could probably be able to tell me, but I'm going to flip him over real quick. Actually, I'm going to leave him the way he is because he'll probably try to run off. Uh, I'm going to grab this hook out of him real quick. Um, don't want him to reach out and bite me either because it looks like he can 
move his mouth pretty far. So I'm going to... Oh, goodness. All right, guys, tell me in the comments section below, this is a soft shell turtle. Um, but I'm going to flip him back over. I've got his, uh, his hook taken out, so he's going to go. Alright guys, that's going to wrap this episode of Average Guy Outdoors up. Um, I am going to try this spot again. I feel like there's some more fish in there, but I'm getting kind of tired and I'm thirsty and hungry. And I feel like we fished pretty hard today for what we got, but that's okay. That happens sometimes. I had a good time and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.